Okay, Lee Mansell, um, congratulations. Welcome to Gloucester City. How's your first day gone? Uh, brilliantly. Met the players, met all the staff as well, which has been fantastic. Um, had a really good, sharp, intense hour session. The boys uh, acquitted themselves really well. Um, nice to see them with a smile on their face as well, which was also good. A bit of finishing as well. So it, it's, it's just about trying to build a little bit of confidence at the moment. That was a day for them and tomorrow and through the rest of the week would be a lot more structured. Um, so, you know, it's no, it's no secret why you've been brought in to the club uh, and appointed. We're obviously on a poor run of form. Um, how confident are you with what you've seen today and, and the games you've seen previously? How confident that we can turn this around and, uh, and what will you be focusing on? I think what, we're, what we've got to focus on at the moment is a lot more consistency to our play and how we're going to play. Um, you know, I think it's well documented when we come up against more physical teams, we kind of get bullied a little bit. So that's uh, obviously an area where we're looking to strengthen at the moment, just to cope with the, the physical teams in this league. Uh, in terms of how the players are at the moment, um, obviously a little bit down given results and stuff. So it's obviously myself and, and Daf's job to now boost the confidence a little bit, um, get them playing the right way, which I, I believe we can do, and get them, get them looking forward instead of down. And that's, uh, that's the most important thing. Get, stop the rot first off and then... Um, try and get ascend this league as quickly as possible well you've been uh, sort of linked with this job a couple of times previously um why why do you think now uh you've been given this opportunity uh probably a bit of probably about two things really um a i'm local obviously being a gloucester boy myself um and also the fact that I'm, I was currently out of work from bristol rovers so uh i was ready to to go into a job um you know, as I said, I applied for it. Um, I think when James left, I applied for the applied for the role, and obviously um, Paul, Paul was given it. Um, and it was, I think, just, just I got a phone call on uh, on Saturday after the game. Would I like to come in? Um, the job's there, and um, obviously, it's a, it's a no-brainer not to take it. You mentioned there that you're a local lad. Um, obviously, this was pretty much on your doorstep, I think. Um, and obviously, you, you've you've had a career um, in football. Um, outside of Gloucester a lot of Gloucester City fans will have probably kept one eye on your career thinking could he play here one day um, you're here now as manager what does it mean to you to be uh, manager of Gloucester City your um, your home city club uh, absolutely buzzing I'm a proud Gloucesterian I, lo I love this I love the city um, the opportunity when I, when I left Torquay to sign for Bristol Rovers that which only meant one thing we could move back home um, obviously it's, it's you know, you live here, your friends are here, your family are here as well. And to, and to be able to manage the club now uh, and hopefully get it where it needs to go, you know, it's it's a huge privilege for myself. So, um, you know, so, uh, and with due respect, it's a massive opportunity for me as well. So, you know, I, I need to obviously get some wins first and foremost and, and put some smiles on people's faces as well. Well, um, it's fair to say that you, your appointment's gone down quite well among Gloucester City fans and obviously there's a lot of, uh, you're obviously well thought of from uh, supporters of uh, your, your previous clubs, uh, Bristol Rovers and Torquay. Um, that must be nice for you and obviously you know your family connection with, with the club as well. Um, I think your brother played um, previously so um, that must be nice for you. How do you feel about that? Yeah, it's, it's, it's nice to have the support now. Um, we lose a couple of games that could change, um, but I've never been one to get carried away with that. You know, we will have ups and downs, hopefully more ups than downs. But um, yeah, as you say, I, th I think it's I think it's important for myself to keep a level head. As you said, we've got a I've got a family history with it. Um, obviously, my brother was was a player here, and my sister used to play for the ladies team as well. So, you know, we've got we've we've got obviously there's a connection between um, ourselves as a family and the club. So. As I said, it, it, it's it's a fantastic opportunity for me, and uh, hopefully, you know, we get the right results and uh, we can keep carrying on. Moving back to the uh, the football, what what are your in initial impressions of the squad that you've seen today? Do you think we can turn it around with this group of players, or are you looking to bring in new players? Um, I think we've got a very good group of players. Um, quite a small number, if truth be told. We've got a couple of out injury. Obviously, there was an, uh, Matty got injured on Saturday in the game. Um, another hamstring one. Um, so that's that's something we need to look and address at. Uh, I will be looking to bring players in, um, just to put a, 
just a little fresh impetus on stuff and you know to, to give a couple of players out there a jolt as well just to let them know that there are other players and they want to do come and play for this football club um, to be fair the, the phone's been non-stop since, um, since Sunday morning so it's when they've got to sit down and reflect and we, we have to bring the right type of player in um, and that right, that right type of player has to embed, embody what I believe should happen with the football club we've got to have passion we've got to have fight and you know we've got to have a ruthless the ruthless nature about us to go and put the ball in the back of net and to keep it out of ours. Yeah, also has been announced today. Uh, Daff has been brought in as a uh, assistant manager. Tell us uh, uh, a bit about your relationship with him. So I've, I've worked with Daff in the Rovers Academy for five years. Um, someone I, I know very well. I know how he works. He work. He knows how I work. I think it's very important for me to have that that, that trust issue. Uh, trust. Sorry, with the, with the assistant. Um, He's fan absolutely fantastic in you know his, in his individual stuff with with players as well, which is brilliant uh, in terms of analysis as well. He, he ticks all the boxes for me, so he's someone. He's a good confidant for me as well. Um, he's really hard working and same as me, very passionate and really want to uh, do well in this job. Well, we've got uh, Folkestone in the FA Cup on Saturday. Um, obviously, you, you've not had much time to think about that, but um, but what, what are your initial thoughts about that that fixture? Is it one that we can win? Well, I hope so. We're going to approach everyone to go and win the game. They're not going to set up for a draw at all. Um, doesn't matter if we're playing top of the league in ours or, you know, if we, we manage to progress in this and we we pull a Premier League team, we will go to every game to try and win. Uh, I don't believe in sitting back. I believe in being on the front foot, you know, attacking teams and, you know, scoring goals, playing attacking brand of football that, you know, supporters can enjoy coming to watch. Uh, that, that, that's first and foremost for me. In terms of the FA Cup, game at the weekend you know it's, it's going to be a very tricky tie and a way tie a, a team lower than us as well you're going to be bang up for it uh, and our players have got a match that very best of luck thank you very much cheers bud